welcome back to Tanya's Unplugged Life. As you can see, I'm in a vehicle. I'm stop, I'm go, I'm stop, I'm go. And um, happy Canada Day weekend, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your Canada Day weekend. I am just on my way to the Kawarthas and I'm looking forward to a very different type of weekend. Today, I am going to be vlogging a fashion show for local stores in the Malma, Havelock, Norwood, Madoff area. They're having a massive, a pretty big uh, fashion show and I'm going to vlog that for you and for the businesses in the area to get some great uh, publicity out for them. So today that is what I am doing. So I look forward to that uh, tomorrow will be a demolition derby in Malma as well. A lot of smaller towns closer to like Peterborough, Ottawa, in that area are not doing fireworks due to um, fire bans going on due to the fires out west and up in uh, Quebec. So a lot of them are doing other things. And this year Malma is doing a derby and um, so yeah, it's going to be a little mixed bag of nuts uh, weekend vlog. Um, I may get one or maybe two out of it. But happy Canada Day, everybody. I hope you had a great Canada Day. This will probably be um, going live a week later. And I am just happy to be back in Canada and for many different reasons. And... Um, from living in Ecuador for two and a half years so I've been quite busy since I've been back being with family and close friends and uh, getting to see people I haven't seen in a very long time so yeah come with me today I am going to show you the fashion show so I look forward to bringing that to you today if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and if you are already in my community thank you for joining me again today and i hope you like this week's video so stay tuned for the big fashion show i am standing in the little town of moma ontario it is between peterborough ontario and ottawa on highway 7. if you need a little stop off on your way to ottawa or in the area come to moma it's a cute little town i am here today to do a fashion show i'm going to show you some of the stories that will be in the fashion show here I am at the corner, there is Highway 7, and I'm going to continue walking and just showing you the little cute town of Moma, Ontario. That was just the pharmacy, and they do have an LCBO, I believe on. I have Cook's Bobo Shop, Theo's Pizza, I've had it here, it's great. And this is the Moma Dollar Plus store. If you're from Canada or Ontario, you know of Stedman's. This used to be the old Stedman's. Off the porch, gifts. And this here, right by the crosswalk, is Tap and Tonic. It's a new restaurant. It is a pub and bistro. And this is a cute little store called Possibilities Inc. Furniture and Home Decor. And if you're looking for any paddles, paddles and life preservers you can check this little store out and this is called hometown combs it's brand new i think in the past year actually you can get ice cream there and wildlife rentals look at that paddle board kayaks pretty cool oh more and more spa as well And up there, 
right on the four corners on number one mcgill street is country folk canada discount it's exactly like a giant tiger Beautiful architecture as well here. This is the professional building. There is the Tap and Tonic Pub and Bistro. Good for the Soul Beauty and Boutique. The old marmor mine, it used to have nickel, gold, copper, iron, silver, and zinc. Pretty neat that they have this, the old miners here in the statue. I also want to mention on Thursday nights, I think it is, um, they have the car show that blocks off all of the Mama Main Street. So if you're in the area and you're into old cars, new cars, come on down and check it out. I've been to it many, many times. The car show is pretty cool. So come on down and check that out on Thursday if you're in the area. I'm here at the MoMA first ever fashion show. They are going to be showcasing the different clothing from the stores right here in MoMA. As I said earlier in the video, it is between Peterborough and Highway 7 and Ottawa. Stop in and check out and support these small businesses. As we know, the pandemic has really taken a big hit for a lot of the private businesses, especially these little stores throughout Ontario. So check them out if you're coming through town. Like I say, Mama Ontario. And I will be listing at the end of the video the different stores that have shown their beautiful dresses and outfits here in today's video. Stay tuned. this Friday of the Canada Day long weekend. We, we weren't expecting this many people out. We thought you'd be all maybe on the road, so it's so nice to see so many familiar faces and so many fresh faces. My name is Sandra, Sandra Lummis. If you recognize the smile, it's because Mary Provo is my mother. I'm all team. <laughs> for those of you who are new to town, I was born and raised here, but I haven't been here for many years, so I'm so thrilled to be moving back to the community and to be here in front of all of you today to share in this first annual event. So thank you so much. It's an honor to be here and celebrate today with all of these great models that are lined up all along the side. For our vendors who so generously donated all of the items today to be able to come up and you can see all of the set, their clothing, they put so much energy and effort into this. So I'd like to thank all of our vendors. I know Mom's going to do this officially in a few minutes, but big round of applause. Thank you, Mark and Mark. As well as all the volunteers from the club who've been out. I've, I've listened to the phones ringing at Mom's and the emails coming through trying to prepare scripts and everything else. So it's really a pleasure that the community comes together. And I said, this is what a small community, I know when I grew up here, that's what communities are all about, isn't it? These events help us get out and make an excuse to see one another, visit again, but to really celebrate what small communities are all about. So thank you very much for coming and participating in this today.
as you can see, the prices here at the fashion show are very reasonable. Usually when you're coming to the quarters or cottage country, the prices can be quite expensive and a lot of people avoid going into the smaller boutiques. But here in Malma, they are very reasonable. Prices from jewelry from $10, $15. The most expensive outfit I think I've seen is $40 and that's what a full outfit. So when you're in Malma, check out the little boutiques. Don't be afraid of checking the boutiques out because they're very reasonable. So stay tuned for much more fashion. If I could, I'll take a minute and quickly thank uh, the people who have helped out here today. Our music man, Mr. Terry Murphy, was great, and you've done a great job, Terry. Thank you. Our cameraman, Doug Prindle, who never lets us down, he's at every event. And he does a great job. And I'd like to thank all the merchants who supplied us with this great clothing. They're such busy people but willing to help us with our afternoon of entertainment. I do hope that everyone appreciates and supports these wonderful merchants in our town. Thank you to the models who set their shyness and their modesty aside. I think the models enjoyed the afternoon as well, and I certainly hope so because they were absolutely great. Yeah. And of course, this event just didn't happen. Requires a lot of planning and work, and there are so many members that are helping pull this together. We have a very good-sized club right now, and everybody are workers. Every each and every person is a worker. I don't need to say who they are that have helped out because you know who you are. Thanks so much for the hard-working boomerangs. <laughs> last but not least, thanks to my daughter Sandra. Sandy, who did a great job, and I can always count on her to pull me through. <laughs> we have some draw 
cross, and I would appreciate, uh, or I would like to especially thank Anthony from the Miner's Diner. Uh, he donated a $25 gift certificate to our afternoon. And so the white cards that you have, uh, we will be having two draws. I've also, on behalf of my company, wrote a page, given a $50 gift certificate there. So there will be two gift certificates from the Miner's Diner. And um, these funds go into our club. Anything that we get here today for money, for, for guests and whatnot. Uh, yes, we do things like decorating supplies and whatnot. And so I, again, I thank everyone and have a fun and safe Canada Day. And I just again would like to thank the merchants. One McGill Street is country folk. They have fashions for the whole family and a lot of other items in the store. They're also open seven days a week, so drop by and see their great deals. They have some deals from today as well. Good for the Soul, Brooke and Courtney have recently opened their new beauty salon and boutique at 13 Forsyth Street. They're offering clothing, makeup, and hair care, and of course, always friendly smiles. Drop by to see their new beautiful shop. Off the porch, Devon Rose offered not only a great line of clothing and accessories, but have gift wear for the whole family. They also carry a line of British foods. Drop by in their store and check out their unique gift items. They're located at 18 Forsyth Street. The Cutting Corner, located at 7 Main Street, Ashley, Brittany, and Sherry offer total family hair care, as well as some amazing accessories and clothing in their newly renovated and expanded boutique. If you haven't been there, drop in and see their new store. Sandra's. Sandra offers a complete line of ladies' clothing and is now starting a new men's line of clothing. Sandra also offers some natural and gluten-free food products. Sandra is located at 4 Matthew Street, Highway 7 West, at the top of the hill. And Barmer Spa Nails, Jody offers a wide variety of spa services, including manicures, pedicures, and massage. Barmer Spa and Nails also offer a great retail line of beauty products, and they're located at Four Forsyth Street. So please stay with us till the end, and at the very end of the third session, we will have the draws for the gift certificates. And I believe there's another draw from the country folk. Okay, thanks so much, everybody.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, they are beautiful clothing, beautiful fashion show today here in Malma. I hope that if you were ever in the area, stop by, take a little look around in Malma. It's a beautiful little community. I have been coming to Malma for many, many years. Our family used to have a trailer right at Booster Park in Malma. So if you're in the area between Havelock, Malma, Norwood, Madoc, any area, Hastings, check out the little boutiques. Come on down. They've got so much there. They have restaurants, ice cream, and little shops. And as you can see, it's very reasonable. Outfits anywhere from, you know, 10, 15, 20. Some other uh, stores are a little bit more money for their outfits, but check them out and give them a good support, guys. With this pandemic, people who just really have been struggling to get their businesses back up and running. And, you know, what a great way to do that. Come on down if you're walking or driving by stop in and enjoy if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button i truly would love it if you did it surely helps me out and you get to see new content and if you are already a member of my community thank you for joining me and i hope to see you on the next video Thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope to see you in the next video coming up real soon. Thanks for watching.